Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last 10 Gamers, and welcome. So it's Thursday, and that means one thing. We've got an exciting new update from the Space Engineers developers, and you're probably wondering what you're going to be getting your hands on this week. Or you may even be wondering why there's been a lack of update videos from myself. Now, to answer that question, there has not been too many new features that I can physically show you added to the game over the last few weeks. Many of them have been small and many of them have just been pure fixes, fixing the game and the problems. Now, after much request from you guys, I've decided however small the actual patch that's going to be released on Thursday, I will cover it for you and try to give you quite a detailed overview and demonstrate some of the fixes for you. So don't worry about that any longer. Now, without further ado, let's get on to this new block. You're probably wondering exactly Exactly what it is. Now this is the projector block. The projector block you may be wondering, what, what can that do? Well it does exactly what it says on the tin. It projects a hologram of your ship in a blueprinted form ready for you to actually, you could say, produce, print in your survival world. So let's head over here and take a look at the block itself. Now first off we're going to access our G menu and we're going to see the projector block here. That doesn't require too much to actually build. And we've already added it to our hotbar. So before replacing, there's one thing we need to take into consideration is the direction of this block. And you may notice that that cross actually marks the top of the block. And if we scroll this around a little bit, you'll see that slash through the circle marks the back of the block. So we'll place it like so. That will be facing outwards in that direction. Now let's have a look at the controls that this block offers. So we'll add the nuclear reactor there and we'll select the projector block. So first off, you'll notice that we have a blueprint button, and from this blueprint button, we can pretty much select whichever blueprint we want, regarding that it's a small ship. So first off, we're gonna just pick one of the Henry variants. We'll pick that big engine one here, and we're gonna project it like that. So now that's been projected, and it's gonna be able to be printed as a sort of hologram, if we wish. We can actually get our welder out and start building it with a few more controls and edits to it. First off, let's have a look at some of the controls. So we've got horizontal offset. So that is going to move it along a horizontal plane in negative and positive. We've got vertical. So this is going to move it up and down and forward, forwards and backwards. Quite clear, quite simple controls. We've also got the pitch. That's going to be rotating it or flipping it in this case. And we've also got the yaw. That's going to be rotating it. And we've got the roll. That'll be turning it upside down or depending on which angle of plane you're actually on so you can see we've actually levitated it up into the air with them controls and moved it into position where we can't actually build it now we can't actually build it there because there's one simple thing we need to take consideration the block has to be physically connected to the ship to build it now it doesn't have to be this block alone like i'll show you later on but a block has to be connected and once it is connected you'll see the block it's connected to lighting up so we've got this actual gatling gun lighting up unlike over here there's no lighting up blocks so i cannot physically build this with my welder but over here i can simply click on that and i can get building straight away now when it comes to building like this you'll notice that the blocks kind of light up in an order and you just follow them through the system building one after another and you've pretty much got your ship in a matter of minutes or seconds depending on if you're building it in survival or creative now this is definitely a survival aspect sort of build to it and you can see over here what i was talking about is you don't have to have it connected physically to the projector block we've actually put an l shape in and it's gone up to the engine bay where we can actually build the parts of the engine bay build the engine that we've already got on here and start welding this ship together now this also works for larger ships, as you can see here we've got a big sort of alien ship if I zoom out a little bit. And I've done the exact same thing but just used a large landing gear. So I can actually weld these parts into place, you see how it's lighting up the next part to build. And I just work through that area, building brick by brick. And I have a ship that looks pretty damn awesome into my survival world. Now we can use this in an automated sort of production line system. So over here is a ship that you may have seen on the developer video. I've just quickly modified it in a few different ways so it'll work for my sort of prototyping. Now I'm going to head into the cockpit up above and I'm going to control this thing manually just to explain how it works. So we'll travel in this direction and we'll add a little bit of thrust and usually the timers would time the block uh, so it would come out at a certain selected time. So I'm going to show you exactly what's going to happen. We're going to weld up our small ship cockpit then we are going to cut it three 
And now we're cutting it free, the main thing to take into consideration here is how this block works. Now the projector only projects the block if it's not connected to it. So as we're moving forward, and disable our grinder again, we're going to build that ship back up, disable our welders, cut it off, and we can continuously build. Now this means we can production line ships. Now these ships that are actually being put out could be turned into anything. Miners, fighters, builders, constructors, all sorts of just a bit different variants. And you could be knocking out ships, torpedoes, missiles all day. Just an amazing sort of, con sort of concept to actually get your head around. So we'll release this last one and we'll talk about a few different things that we've done with these designs. Now, when we're actually building something like this, we don't have to stop here. We could build a much larger ship and have different stages. So we could produce it out to one area here. Then we activate it on a timer block and we get a really complicated ship built out from this very simple start. But for so on, I'm going to actually show you some upgraded parts of the ship. Now, if your ship happens to become damaged or you want to simply upgrade it, it's as, it's as simple as literally stepping it inside, looking around your ship. And we go, oh, I think we'll turn this into the mining version today. You want to toggle this on, access your blueprints, and I've got one that says upgrade somewhere in this menu. So you can select upgrade. I'm going to select OK on the upgrade. And you can see that it's put the hologram around the ship. So I can go, yeah, I think I'm going to turn this into the grinding variant or the welding variant or whatever you want of that ship. And you can hop out. And once you've hopped out, you get your welder out and you can start building away. Obviously, that hologram has just disappeared because I did not select. Okay, so we'll re establish that hologram, select the upgrade, and select on on that. And we'll hop out and we can actually start building the upgraded parts onto our ship. Now, this is going to add to so many different sorts of possibilities for your ships. Now, imagine this you have a mine layer just like this ship over here, and as it's flying along, it's building and constructing mines that dropping out behind it into space. You could also have that with a missile system. You could have one of these welders and these construction components and the hologram producing missiles, cutting the missile off, firing it straight away. Now, if you have one of them, it might not be that effective, but if you had five or six of these producing missiles and then firing them at a target, it could be absolutely devastating. Now the final thing that I want to show you in today's patch is pivot points. Now pivot points have been introduced to help you kind of control where the hologram is going to be placed. So let's access that. Now the best way of controlling this is in creative mode. And you'll notice that lots of pivot points are formed on this different object. So when you place a new object into the world, like a small ship for instance, you will see that we've got the pivot point there at the bottom. Now if for instance, if we want to add a ship on top of that and change the actual pivot point let's first off build a few light armor blocks up into the sky or up into space you could say and we want to add a henry to that but the henry's pivot block is actually below the actual ship itself you can see there and there but we want to change it so it's actually locate off to one side so when we bring it into the world it won't be a hassle so first off we need to go into our menu and shift 10 or 10 for instance and find our Henry so Henry is up here and we need to add him into the world and we need to change his pivot point so I'm going to select him there I'm going to drag him over with my control C and we're going to place him on here so his pivot point will now change to this location so if I add him to an actual block so we've got this one over here I'll just demonstrate this and we actually cut that one off and we place a new one on make sure I've done that the right way around that I have not there we go and we add here find a small ship 466 small ship 466 where are you come in there we go and you can see that it's now been added from that pivot point just making it a lot easier to actually work with now I'd really like to hear your opinions and your feelings on these blueprints I think that they're gonna add they add a whole level of detail. These projectors are just going to make so much more survival building of weapons, manufacturing to so much faster and so much more industrial. But anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I can't wait to see what you guys are doing.